Hi, my name is Alan Owens, and I'm the GCMS Product Manager here at Shimazu Scientific Instruments. In this video, I will show you how to remove and clean the ion source from the GCMS TQ8050 NX. For this procedure, you will need a hexagon screwdriver, flathead screwdriver, tweezers, and a box replacement jig. First, you must make sure that the entire system is shut down. Go through the automatic shutdown process for the GCMS. Open the front door of the GCMS by turning the knob counterclockwise. Remove the Lens 1 repeller wire and move it to the left with the tweezers. Loosen the interface cup one full turn with the hexagon screwdriver. Insert the box replacement jig into the specified location and screw it in. Loosen the two screws on the ion source with one full turn with a flathead screwdriver. Grip the interface cup with tweezers and move it to the right about 5 mm and then press down. Now fully loosen the two flathead screws on the ion source. Use the box replacement jig to remove the ion source box assembly. Then close the door. Place the parts on Kim wipes on a clean surface. Remove the box replacement jig. Separate the repeller assembly from the ion source box. Use the hex screwdriver to disassemble the repeller assembly. Be careful not to use too much force or grip the pieces too tightly. Clean the repeller and ion box with an aluminum oxide slurry and a cotton swab. Then rinse and sonicate the repeller and ion box with water until the water is clear. Follow with two rounds of sonication and rinses in methanol. For dirtier sources, a final rinse and sonication with a stronger solvent, such as methylene chloride, may be necessary. Allow parts to dry. Once all parts are dry, you can begin to reassemble. Start with the repeller assembly. The repeller parts should remain slightly loose at this point. Ensure all holes are aligned before you tighten the assembly with the hex wrench. Be careful to only use light force, as the ceramic insulators are easily cracked with too much pressure. Next, align the pins and holes and fit the repeller assembly into the ion box. Attach the box replacement jig. Open the front door and insert the ion box. While holding the jig, use the two flathead screws to secure it in place, but don't tighten the screws all the way. Use the tweezers to insert the interface cup into the ion box. It may be necessary to gently jiggle the ion box to ensure the interface cup is inserted. Then tighten the interface cup screw with the hexagon screwdriver. Now tighten the two flathead screws on the ion source and remove the jig. Replace the L1 repeller socket wire. Ensure that no wires are touching or shorting. Check the door O-ring and surface for any dirt. Then close the door and tighten the screw. Open GCMS Solution Real-Time Analysis. Open Vacuum Control. Then start Auto Startup. For more information on Shimazu GCMS instruments, visit us at www.ssi.shimazu.com. Excellence in science. Shimazu.